Y'all act like y'all know what y'all are doing around here, man. All right, guys, so we're working with Raphael in the lab. We're talking about the different stain systems that Renner has available. Uh, in particular, what we're working with right now, this looks like a, a walnut substrate, is that right? Yes. So we're staining walnut. He's showing me the difference between their wiping stain bases and their spray stain bases, how these products can intermix with each other and really become uh, a great universal system that you can use for stain. So stay tuned, a lot of good stuff coming. So with the dye, you get a lot of grain tick. Yeah, you get the tick, but at the same time, uh, usually you get more depth to right. the, the finish. You get more hardness, you know. Uh, you have the, that super fast drying. Right. And uh, you get, uh, that's a very light color. So can these dyes, be mixed in a toner uh, for shading and toning yes, into a clear? Yes, on, what about a water-based clear? The thing is on the LPL line, yes. Okay, but yes. not water? No, not to the water. Yeah, because yeah. it's solvent. Yeah. Yeah. To, if you want to do the same, like to mix the spray stain on the, into the water-based right. uh, products, clears and, white, and, 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 and whites, yes, you can, you can do it. You can create a toner, okay. make, intermix them, and then you can make um, a light color. It's not going right. to be solid, yep. yeah, because you need a pigment base in right, order right. to be to to, yeah. achieve, to reach opacity. But it will it will be a, a toner. To, yeah. To blend in the even the, out yeah. everything. Yeah. Gotcha. And which one? See, with the pigment, you have a lot more coverage. Right. That's a lot of pigment. Yeah. It's very... So besides the, the, you have a lot of coverage, you still have a lot of vibrancy. Yep. Uh, which is really comparable to a dice because the pigments are finally grinded. Uh, they are no fading pigments, especially the red, which usually tends to fade the most. Sure. And um, they, like I said before, they are all intermixable and we have a marketing material with the, the 25 most popular formulas. Yep. That can, the, the, the customer can benefit from mixing them up in uh, the primary color. Nice. Yeah, so what Rafael is talking about is the new stain system, Evaristo and uh, Rafael, myself, we were talking about yesterday, and it truly is an intermixable stain system that you would mix on a gram scale or your distributor would mix for you. And um, so you said that these pigments are ground really, really fine in the spray stain, yes. right? Yes. A lot finer than they would be in the wiping stain? Yes. Or the pigment the same size? No, no the same size, but uh, the white wi the stain binder is which gives the wiping ability. Okay. So not necessarily depends on the, gotcha. the size of the pigment. So same pigments in both? Yes. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So what we've got, we two different, uh, we've got the wiping stain we did. We have the dye solvent based stain here. And then this is the water-based spray, spray stain, stain. Yes. right? So you can see the difference between all three of those. 